Coming up, big weather changes as we head into the weekend. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News at 11. Good evening, I'm Steve Hensley. Enjoy tomorrow because big weather changes are on the way for the weekend. That could affect any outdoor Christmas events and we could see everything from heavy rain and wind to even a few snowflakes at the end of all of it. Meteorologist Cameron Aaron joins us now with our first alert on what's ahead. Cameron. Yes, yeah, Steve, I do want to stress there are no weather worries tonight or on Friday, so be sure to enjoy the nice weather tomorrow because like you mentioned, we are tracking some big changes as we get into this weekend. Right now, though, on the radar, we are dry. A few clouds overhead in some areas, but again, as high pressure continues to sit over the region, we are tracking some more dry weather overnight. Also on Friday, more sunshine on the way to close out the work week, but again, watching out for some higher rain chances, also some breezy weather this weekend and maybe a few snow chances as well in those higher elevations. Temperatures right now in the middle to lower 40s and a few upper 30s in some areas down to 46 in Pikeville. Also 47 for Jackson, 45 over in Somerset and temperatures as you wake up and walk out the door on Friday in the upper 30s and lower 40s. And again, that calm forecast does continue as we go overnight. But on your weekend, we are tracking those higher rain chances. No severe weather, but some heavier pockets of showers are going to be possible. Also tracking some gusty winds and maybe a brief changeover from rain to a wintry mix by late Sunday. Also early on Monday, tracking those rain chances and some cooler conditions into next week in just a few minutes. Steve. All right, Cameron, thank you. Now to a developing story in California. Hunter Biden was indicted on nine tax charges in that state late today. The new charges come in addition to federal firearms charges in Delaware, alleging Hunter Biden broke a law against drug users having guns in 2018. This as a special counsel investigation into the business dealings of the president's son intensifies. The West Virginia Enhanced 911 Council says there were two incidents last week that left multiple centers without service for hours. The organization is filing a complaint to the Public Service Commission against Frontier Communications. One of those outages was November 28th at Mingo County 911. The call center went silent for almost nine hours after officials say a vandal cut a nearby frontier fiber line and calls could not be rerouted to another county's call center. Officials say they want Frontier to provide a backup source for 911 centers so they will not lose service if a fiber line is cut. Frontier says they've seen a 70% uptick in copper wire thefts in West Virginia since 2021. Kentucky Justice and Public Safety Cabinet Secretary Kerry Harvey is retiring. He will retire at the end of January. Governor Bashir made that announcement earlier today. Harvey's been a longtime official at the state and federal levels. He served as uh, under former Governor Steve Bashir and as U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of Kentucky at one time. Harvey's cabinet is the second largest cabinet in state government with more than 7,000 employees. Governor Bashir also announced new jobs coming to the Commonwealth today. The IT company Optami will set up in Wayne County with a $3 million investment that will create 200 full-time jobs. It's the largest job creation investment in Wayne County since 2010. Construction is set to begin in January and should be complete in December of next year. A renewable energy company is looking to make an economic impact in eastern Kentucky. Edlin Renewables has opened an office now in downtown Hazard. They started construction or are planning for construction at several sites that will become renewable energy sources. Founder Adam Edlin says they plan to follow their company's slogan of social impact solar by employing eastern Kentuckians. We, we think eastern Kentucky uh, specifically and Appalachia in general is the perfect place to bring the green energy opportunities that these folks deserve. Edlin says they are an early pioneer in transforming coal plants into renewable energy sources. Hazard Community and Technical College will also play a role in equipping future workers to fill those jobs. A state audit of the Kentucky Community and Technical College system found several issues related to its finances and accounting. Among the findings, the auditor said the KCTCS 
unrestricted carry forward balance was not accurately reported to the Board of Regents. The system overcharged community colleges by $24 million and there were discrepancies between balances reported to community colleges. KCTCS says it is now working with lawmakers and regulators to correct those issues. School teacher shortages have impacted districts across the nation. Local school officials are working on creating ways to increase the amount of teachers to help alleviate some of the issues that come along with the shortages. Letcher County School Superintendent Denise Yant says they want to create teachers of their own by reintroducing an education pathway at the high school. And with the push and recruitment statewide, that will help us all. But locally, we do need to do more around building our own, do a program for our students, help them get some practical experience. There's a career pathway for teaching and learning. Uh, we had a few classes in that pathway in the past, and so I'm looking at bringing that back and seeing how we can incorporate that for our students who are, who are interested in teaching. Yant says there are several reasons as to why they are facing teacher shortages from pay to COVID and more. North Point Academy in Pike County opened its latest project this week, putting students in the store. The Jag Thrift Store is a community space that sells secondhand items, giving the students firsthand experience operating a business. The store is student organized and operated, and those involved say it serves two missions. The store just kind of helps us give back to our community at, while we're also raising money for ourselves. The store will be hosting a Christmas sale tomorrow from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. Kentucky has its first documented case of chronic wasting disease. This is a fatal neurologic disease that affects deer, elk, and other species in the deer family. It was found in a deer harvested by a hunter in Ballard County last month. That's in far western Kentucky. State Fish and Wildlife officials say they are carefully considering their next steps and they always advise you not to eat meat from game animals that appear sick or in poor condition. One Laurel County Church is inviting you to see the greatest gift ever given. It was the first night of the Faith Assembly of God's drive through live nativity. WYNT's Madison Carmouche is in London with more. Faith Assembly of God is doing their part to get folks in the Christmas spirit right here in London by bringing Bethlehem to them and reminding them the reason for the season. When you come in, there's just, there's just a vibe or a feeling that you feel like you're going back in time almost. Um, children are laughing and playing, people are bartering on the streets. I'm selling you fish. We have some fish. Yeah, we have the money. Church members say being involved in this is a chance to be a part of something bigger than themselves. If our job is just to be out here in costume, walking around having a great time, but one person's life is changed or altered, um, or accept the Lord even uh, while coming through Nativity, everything that we've done in preparation for it, it's all worth it. Folks that drive through can listen to the story on 99.1 in their car radio. This gives the opportunity for people uh, to be able to hear the message of hope, the message of Christ, and, uh, and then just have those conversations. And ultimately, our desire is to advance the kingdom of God. With the help of hundreds of volunteers, the church is able to bring the pages of the Bible to life and show people what that night of Christ's birth may have been like. In London, Madison Carmouche, WYMT Mountain News. Yes, they even made Madison dress up for the occasion. And yes, that was Reed Shepherd's mother we talked to tonight, in case you were wondering. Faith Assembly of God's live drive through nativity continues tomorrow and Saturday night at 6.30. Coming up on Mountain News at 11, we are learning more about the mass shooting yesterday on the UNLV campus. And we'll look at where the war between Israel and Hamas stands after three months. Plus, we are tracking a busy forecast by this weekend. Those details coming up.